So today we're going to start correcting the activity that I left. Yeah, I remember. That I left. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. So let's correct it. Let me zoom in here. So uh, you had to analyze the timelines and so on. I'm going to just just write the example, uh, the answers, because you had time to, to finish. So I'm sure you, you did everything. So number one, how are the events one and two related? This we already did, I'll write again. So Walter had been studying English. Had been studying English. For over a year when he went abroad for the first time. Let me just check this out because I think it's CNA. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Louise is going to be a little late. Okay, so number two, how are the events one and three related? We have Walter probably didn't in Australia because he only two years. This one we need to complete with. Walter probably didn't get the job in Australia because he had been studying English, had been studying English for only two years. So Walter probably didn't get the job in Australia because he had been studying English for only two years. And been studying English for only two years. Okay. Yes. Hello, Valerie. Hello. Prof, eu caí aqui, é me interessante, estava esperando voltar, tem uns 45 minutos que caiu agora que voltou. Ok, tá bom? Ok. Number three, we are on page 84, Valerie, correcting the activity. Number three, how are the events one and four related? Walter had studied English for five years before he graduated. So, for five years before he graduated. Walter had been studying English for five years before he graduated. Number four, how are events four and five related? Four is, uh, Walter had already, so Walter had already graduated from his English course graduated from his English course when he went out with Rose for the first time. So, Walter had already graduated from his English course when he went out with Rose for the first time. Number five. How are the events six and seven related? Uh, for over a year, Walter and Rose had been married. Walter and Rose had, oh, sorry, had been dating. Had been dating. Walter and Rose had been dating. Yes, uh, for over a year when they got married. Uh. Hello, Nobish. <coughs> so number five is Walter and Rose had been dating for over a year when they got married. I'll give you some time to finish so we can go to six and seven. Can I go down? Uh, hi, can you hear me? Hello, Luis. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, what page, please? 84. Okay, let's go to number six and seven. Number six, how are the events seven and re eight related? In number six and seven, we have to write the entire sentence. So number six is Walter and Rose had 
been married. Had been married for wow. over a year when he was offered a position in his company's office in in his company's office in London. <clears throat> Waldron Rose had been married for over a year when he was offered a position in his company's office in London. And how are events nine and ten related? Uh, Walter and Rose had been living in London for over a year when their first child was born. And to check everything, there you go. If you want to correct all the sentences. Continuing, let's go back. Go chatty. What do you say when you understand what someone is explaining to you? What do you say when you don't understand it? So when you're having a conversation with someone and you are understanding what they're saying and you want to emphasize that you are understanding what they're saying, what is something that you can say to do that? I got it. I got it. What else? Do you have more ideas? I understand. I understand, of course. All right. Uh, all right. How's your dad? Sorry? How's your dad? I hear that. No. How's your dad? Like a uh, policy. I didn't understand the sentence. How are you dad? Like a uh, 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 police. Oh, Roger, dad. Okay. I was trying to understand. I something that, but it's Roger, dad. Yes. Okay. Very good. What Sorry, is Roger, that is what the police say when they are understanding something. They normally use it over the radio. Uh, it's it's uh, radio. Vocabulary is when you say Roger that over and out, and then you turn off the radio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I don't understand something. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. We have, I don't follow. I don't follow what you're saying. Um, I don't know if this is a common saying, but we could say I'm lost. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. I, I'm a little lost on what you're saying. And... I can't think of any other examples, but these are good examples already. So if you want to copy them on your boards. Now, oops. on page 85, we have a conversation Read these conversations and complete the chart. Are the expressions in the conversations similar to the ones you thought about? So in these conversations, you will have some expressions that mean that someone is understanding and some expressions that mean someone is not understanding what the person is saying. So here are the, the, the two boxes. In conversations one and four, one person understands the other, checks the expressions used, and in conversations two and three, one person does not understand the other. Check the expressions used. So I'll give you five minutes to read the conversation and check the expressions. 
Guys, finish? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so let's read the conversations together. Uh, conversation number one. Mateus Diniz, you are the person on the phone. And Luis, you are the girl. Read, please. You start, Janice. Yeah. Okay, the first thing you have to do is turn off the power and plug in the new hardware. I'm a, I'm a few so far, do you want? Now you have to reset the computer and follow the instructions on the system computers, the new advice, the new advice. Okay, I get it, thanks. Okay, number two, now, but you're the girl and I'm the boy. Okay, uh, so far we, we have been analyzing the sentence superficially, but now let's try to go in the, into the context in order to see a meaning that is not really writing her. I don't follow. It's there, but it's not there. Uh, well, in this course analysis, we learned that the meaning that a sentence contains. Sorry, you lost me at this course analysis. That's okay. Let's take a step back and. Yeah. Uh, in activity number, uh, in conversation three, Janice, you are the girl, and Luis, you're the boy. Juan, there is something wrong with the car. Yeah, I know. I think one of the spark plugs must be misfired. That's why. The engine keeps choking in the low gears. Honey, what are you talking about? Oh, I never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the last one, I'll be the girl and uh, now be the boy. You do realize that if you fail to fulfill the terms of this loan, you will have to pay a fee. Yeah, I got the picture. Yes. Okay, and to check, there you go. In the first box, we have, I get the picture, I'm with you so far, I get it or I got it. And in the second, we have, I don't follow, you lost me. And what are you talking about? Oh, this is a good one. What are you talking about? 
always a good way to express you don't understand something. Uh... <laughs> Number three, are you good at making people understand you? Let's see. Choose one of these items and tell your partner briefly about it. Make sure you choose something he, she doesn't know much about. So you're going to talk either about a project you're working on at work or school, the story of a book you're reading or a book you have read, a game you have played, a new gadget you have bought, a nightclub or rave party you have been to. So you just need to talk about it, okay? Since there's only three of you, uh, I'm going to put Nalbert and Luis together and then I can talk to Denise. So I'm going to separate us in pairs. Okay. No, wait. Don't accept that. Just a moment. I, I was wrong here. Uh, okay, now it's correct. Okay. Do you see the invitation? Que aconteceu? Ok. Vem? Oi. Can you hear me? Please believe. Não consigo te ouvir. Oh, okay. Okay, boys, you can talk there. Sorry. I thought you were gone from the from the class. Oi. Tá. Não tô conseguindo ouvir o Luiz, não. Luiz? Oh, I think his microphone is bad again. Oh, man. Luiz, let me send him a chat. Oh, he just logged out. Okay, I think he yeah. was having connection problems, maybe. Um, so I'll put you with Denise. Let me try to move you to Denise's room. Okay.
Hello, Valerie. Okay. Okay, Matheus Diniz, now we only need to find Luiz now. He's coming, he's coming. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Continuing, we have now a sound spot. Ooh la la. The L sound, technically this is not an L. We, we, don't, we don't know the names of the sounds, but let's okay. imagine the L sound. The L sound can sometimes be hard to pronounce correctly in English. Listen and repeat these words. We don't have to repeat. Let's just listen to the words. Unit 6, Sound Spot, Activity 1. Love, Life, Lie, Learn, Mend, Lead, Long, World, Almost, Milk, Kilt, Build, Help, Pool, all, seal, deal, real, meal, wheel, school. Again. Unit 6, sound spot, activity 1. Love, life, lie, learn, lend. Leave. Long. World. Almost. Milk. Kilt. Build. Help. Pull. All. Steal. Deal. Real. Meal. Wheel. School. Okay. So here we have the question. What were the most challenging ones? Why do you think so? So I think the most challenging kind of L pronunciation in English is the one in the middle box because they are in the middle of two consonants, which for us in Portuguese is uncommon because normally in Portuguese we have the combination of consonant vowel, consonant vowel, consonant vowel all the time. So, um, lampada. There is a combination of L plus A, consonant and vowel, consonant and vowel. And whenever we have repeated kinds of letters, we normally have repeated vowels. So, for example, Lua. Lua is easy because it's repeated vowels. It's not two repeated consonants. In English, we have the opposite. Sometimes the L sound is surrounded by consonant sounds, and I think those are the most difficult. For me, the most difficult words are world, uh, kilt, because milk too, because uh, for us it sounds correct, milk and kilt, but I've talked to, to a guy before, a native English speaker, and he said that there is a little something wrong with how Brazilians say milk and kilt. I don't know how to explain it, but he said there's like a, a little something wrong with how we say it. Uh, I also think that it's a little difficult deal Sometimes it's a little difficult to find the L in the world, in the word, and pull, because pull is basically the L is just continuing the sound of the two O's. So it's pull. You you don't know how to to make your tongue to make the L sound. Pull, 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 pull. We end up only doing the O sound, just pull. Uh, and I think that's it. And for you guys, are there any words that you find particularly difficult? For me, is word and heel. Oh, no, heel is easy. <laughs> okay. Just word, only word. Yeah. Anyone, anyone else? I think that's word with two vo vogel. Vogel. Huh? Two what? Vowels. Uh, vowels. Vowels. Together, pull, all. I, I, I yeah. don't know if it's correct. Okay, yeah. Um, all right. 
Yes, and for us, the first box is easy because this is normally yeah. the combination that we have. Consonant and vowel. Love, life, lie, learn, land, live, and long. So when the L is at the beginning, it's easy. There is even one here that I don't know if, if what is difficult in this word is the T or the L, but little, when you are learning, is a little difficult. After you learned, little is, is okay, it's easy. But when you're learning, little is a, is a little tricky word, a little complicated word. Yeah. Little. 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 <laughs> little. <laughs> uh, let's practice. Let's listen to these sentences here. Unit 6, Sound Spot, Activity 2. Please help me clean the pool, will you? Will is the most illogical person in the world. I love her, but she won't even look at me. I feel like I'm invisible. Okay, so these sentences aren't exactly tongue twisters, but they are sentences with a lot of L sounds. So please help me clean the pool, will you? Will is the most illogical person in the world. I love her, but she won't even look at me. I feel like I'm invisible. Uh, create a tongue twister using as many words with the L sound as you can, then challenge your classmates to say it. So now it's your turn. You're going to try and invent a sentence with a lot of L sounds. Uh, try to make a sentence that makes sense, but it's okay if it doesn't. I'll give you some time. We've done this before. Let me see if I can, if I can do this too. I did one, quite short, but I tried to use a lot of L words. Living life to the fullest without love is almost unreal in this world we live. Um, Let me know the sentences that you create. I'll give you until 8.40, seven more minutes.
I do a one. But I don't know it correct. Say it. Uh, I Sorry, put, I was muted. I put Leah. Let's choose swim a little bit on the pool. I don't know if it's correct. Okay, Grammar. it's correct. You just need to write the sentence with a lot of L's. Let's wait for the other guys. Uh, my sentence is, the love is a lie, but we will learn how to deal with this, how people live with other people. Okay, very good. Yeah. Denise and Valerie, did you finish? Uh, no, sorry, I'm not creative when I need to be creative. Don't worry, but are you doing it? Because uh, we can wait. I did it one. Valerie, go ahead. Uh, I love learning other things about the English world. Ooh, okay, very good. Okay. Do you want some more time, Denise, or do you want to not do it? <laughs> passa, passa, passa. É muita pressão. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. All right, uh, so since we have some extra time, I'm going to explain this activity for you, but it's going to be homework because it's a little long. So we'll, you will start doing it now in the class because we still have seven to eight minutes, I think, but you will finish afterwards. So complete the timeline below using important events in your life. Make sure you include your experience as an English learner. So in this timeline here, on the top, you're going to write the years. So, for example, I'm going to start my timeline in... Oh, let me think, let me think. I was nine years old. When I was nine years old, 2006, I think. I'm going to start my timeline in 2006, 2007. You can start your timeline in whatever year you want, okay? I'm starting in 2006 because that's when I started studying English. So 2009, oops, 2010, and so on. So here on the boxes, you just need to write the topic. For example, let's start study English. So in 2006, I started studying English. In 2007, I have no idea what I was doing. 2011, I don't know. 2012, 2013. Let me see, when did I finish high school? No, when did I start high school? I think I started high school in 2011. I, was it? I mean, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2012. So I'm going to write here, start high school. Start high school in 2012. This is what you have to do, okay? Write a little timeline with important events in your life. In my timeline, I started doing it in sequence. So 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. But you don't have to do that. You can write 2006 and then here 2010. Oh, I don't know anything that happened in 2007, 8, or 9. I only know 2010. So go ahead to 2010. You can do your timeline however you want to do it, okay? Whatever you want to write and whatever years you want to write in your timeline, go ahead and do that. Okay, great. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's do that part right now. You, we still have five minutes. So I'll be here if you have any questions.
Teachers. Yeah. I have uh, I haven't do the phrasing in each number. Oh wait, just a moment. No. Um. Complete the timeline. Blah blah blah. Yes, in the numbers, in the numbers, you can write a, maybe a little more detail, like <clears throat> in the box you can write oh. Uh, start an English course and then in the number you can write a little more detail. I started an English course because blah 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 uh, My mother told me to start or because because uh, in the next class when we talk about this activity You will need to talk about the events you will, you will need to talk about the things that happened in the timeline So then you need a little more detail Okay, that's true. Thank you. No problem Okay guys uh, I'm going to finish right now. Next class, in the beginning of the class, I will give you some time to finish the timeline if you didn't, if you don't finish at home, and then we can do the talking part of this activity. Bye bye. See you Monday. Bye. 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 See you.